What's going on, guys? It is the Lovable Lunatic here, Eddie Bainey, back in the Lovable Lunatic Lounge, bringing you another video on classic sprint car racing and my passion for sprint car racing. I want to thank those of you and all the groups I'm in, everything dirt track racing worldwide, sprint car fans, sprintcar.com, um, yes, countless others for watching my videos. God bless y'all. May the Most High give you something great this week, like say the posse dominating the out or posse dominating Kyle Larson and sending him packing back to Cali uh, for PA Speed Week. Mm. But I will do my Speed Week preview coming up. Um, that is not this video. Today we honor a man, a myth, a legend, somebody who revolutionized this sport as we know it today. A true outlaw. I'm talking about the Pink Panther, Kramer Williamson. Today, Kramer Williamson would have turned the tender age of 69 years old. 69! <laughs> Sorry. Shed some light to it. Where is this guy? Alrighty then. Um, Okay, um, anyway, nice night here, barely any clouds in the sky, take a look. Um, so, um, I was a little young for Kramer Williamson, uh, my best memories of Kramer were in the, um, uh, were in the Tasty Cake number two car that he drove for the United Racing Company, um, beautiful car that that's a car that's going to be on my list of top 10 pennsylvania posse sprint car even though it was a united racing club car technically kramer is a pa boy oh and kramer is also a palmyra palmyra pal um uh me and my dad would constantly see kramer williamson at the triangle car wash washing off his trail or even breaking his car out and giving the and um uh, this was one time we seen him in the tasty k car and my dad sees the trailer and goes eddie no way i was like dad isn't that kramer go talk to him my dad said no they don't drive with the the, the drivers don't drive with the crew and my dad's washing his car here comes this elderly man now hey how you doing pal like the sticker on your car. You at the race tonight. My dad goes, dude, you know you're Kramer Williamson, right? And Kramer just laughs. He goes, the last I checked, I believe so, bud. Yep. And they just started shooting the shit. And my dad was telling him how he grew up watching him. And it was such an honor to watch him revolutionize the sport. Just it's stuff like that is what I remember. So beautiful. Um, and then we see him again in the Pink Panther. And at this point, Kramer had known of my dad and said, hey, Dick, you're, my dad's name was Rich. Hey, Dick, you're stalking me now. Now I'm going to have to call security on it. Just lay, you know, cutting the shit. Um, Kramer was a great guy. Great guy. Class act. Like I said, I don't have too many memories of him racing. He did start racing the um, uh, Pink Panther, the traditional Pink Panther number 73, which is which is going to be on my list of top 10 Pennsylvania Posse sprint car designs by me. If this is not a, they are hands down the best looking cars. This is my, they're going to be my list, as are all my lists, and they're open to interpretation if anybody would like to post theirs in the comments. That is next video, though. Um, I didn't get to see Kramer in his glory days. Like I said, by the time I had become aware of him at eight years old, he, you know, he was still very competitive with URC. You know, I think he actually won a championship in 98 or before the Michael boys started dominating URC. Kurt Michael was my favorite. Um, Uh, I believe he did. Not sure, but he would run the 410 here and there. It wasn't too competitive anymore. I mean, 
The guy had done, just like Keith Kaufman at the end of his career, the guy had done everything there is to do. Um, with the exception of winning the Knoxville Nationals or anything like that. So, um, Kramer will be remembered for his outgoing personality, his ability to make the whole room light up with his com comedic remarks, and just being a racer's racer, a classic how you would want your driver to race type of driver. Kramer Williamson is a guy that can never be replaced in the pit area, on the track, and in everyday life. Kramer, thank you for the few memories I have with you, meeting you as a young child, and then again a few years later as I was growing up. Thank you for being somewhat not close, but acquaintances with my father and giving me those memories. And thank you for revolutionizing this this line of work in which I have grown to love and admire and have a deep, precise passion for. Have any other video ideas, guys? Comment. Drop your comments below and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. For the Lovable Lunatic Lounge... I'm Eddie Bainey. I'll see you next time.